Hello my lovely Sophia here, Psychic Tarot Reader, Personal Mentor and welcome back to my channel Sophia Psychic Tarot. So today's pick a card reading is going to be sort of what their secret thoughts were the last time they saw you, um, the, you know how did they feel, what were they thinking, that sort of line I'm going to go along. Um, so we have the three piles, one, two and three. The timestamps are of course in the description box below. Um, the, this reading will go into the pick a card playlist so please check out my other pick a card readings because I have over 50 you know who will you marry who's your crush um, no contact videos as well a lot of them are timeless so please go and check them out my lovelies I will leave you to choose a pile so for my lovelies who chose pile number one Let's see how your person felt about you the last time they saw you. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome, my lovelies. Please explore my channel. There is lots of different things I do on my channel. I don't just do pick a card readings. I do twin flame readings, free love competition, draw every month on the zodiac signs, um, live chat session on a Monday. Please go and check out my channel, my sweethearts. Um, I channel spirit, okay, so there's nothing under this pile. There's nothing under here. Um, for you to see so um, I channel spirit and I never know what's going to come up in a reading or how I'm going to do a reading they dictate to me okay the cards are just visuals for yourselves so let's get an overall sort of feel to the last time that your person saw you so for the viewers who chose part number one how was a sort of what were the energies of the person um, who they saw the last time Okay, chaos, thoughts all over the place, may have been a chaotic situation, um, panic for some of them, confusion, just that feeling of mind worrying, situations against you, people against you, thoughts, feelings all over the place, chaos, just summed up in chaos. Okay, so let's go into... They want me to come to these. Um, sort of what were their what were their um, thoughts? What were they thinking then? Emotional, very emotional. Yeah. Um, some may be tearful, even if they weren't showing tears. I'm getting that um, a feeling of being sort of. You know, I need to breathe um, where your heart feels like it's going to burst out of your chest. Um, emotional here. You're still connected, I'm hearing. You're still connected. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was twin flame or very close soulmate. Okay, you are one, I'm hearing. Um, doesn't matter how much time has gone past either. This is a very strong spiritual connection. And that's why it was so emotional in all this chaos. Um, so let's just carry on. Yeah, they see you as their Ten of Pentacles. Um, okay, so I'm getting a couple of things on here. So that's just spirit confirming that you have that strong link still. Doesn't matter how much time has gone past, what's happened, how this finished, okay, you are going to be together again one day. Of course, you can get your own personal readings, my lovelies, and I do several different types of readings. You can check in the description box below and also the Get Them Back playlist as well. So at the time, there may have been other family situations, whether they were with somebody else, married, committed relationships, or um, just family situations as well. Okay, but um, so it's been slow because of that reason. But their happiness lies ultimately with you. Yeah, 
Yep, your twin flames, sweethearts. A lot of you in here are twin flames. Not all of you, but a lot of you are twin flames here. You've got that almost like the, the earth needs the moon, I'm being told, and I've never had that on this card before. Um, for me, the moon is always things being revealed, okay? But um, I'm spirit is saying, this is so strong because it's like the earth needs the moon for the gravitational pull. Um, beautiful, beautiful reading. So please, my lovelies, for those viewers who chose part number one, don't be sad. Whatever happened is irrelevant because you two are going to be back together. When it happens or how it happens, don't worry about that. Like I say in my Get Them Back playlist, you know, the how and the when, the ifs, the whys, the buts, the maybes, not your problem, okay? But just know and be happy that you and your person are going to be with each other again because they, you need each other, not need each other. You are meant to be together, okay? You're meant to be together, I'm hearing. Okay, lovely. So what else do we have here for the viewers who chose part number one? I haven't had a strong pick a card reading like this for a long, long time. Yeah, so just, they are doing everything in their power. And I know, I know that the reading is how were they thinking and feeling when the last time they saw you? But Spirit is saying, no, forget all about that <laughs> because you're going to be together again. And they are doing everything that they can. So you need to stay positive and op optimistic as well. OK, but let's try and bring Spirit back from the future, if you like, to the past. So what else about the last time? That this person saw the viewer who chose part number one yeah but they're sorry that they walked away they're sorry that they went in amongst this confusion like I say whether it was a situation that was confusing you know the confusion because of a situation or just in their thoughts and feelings okay um but they walked away and they regret doing it they regret doing it now, at the time, although it was emotional, they didn't regret doing it because it seemed the right thing to do. Not personally for you, okay? They don't want you to take it personally. It's like um, it wasn't because of you. So know that you're worthy, good enough and lovable because they still love you. It was because of other commitments, because of other situations or just, you know, in a typical twin flame dynamics and I will put again in the description box below the stages on the twin flame journey and how you can see if you are a twin flame okay um I've lost my train of thought now what was spirit saying that um yes on a twin flame journey sorry my lovelies um you have the runner chaser dynamics okay so that is part of the process so what other message do you have for the viewer who chose number one from that person. Yeah, but they want to come back. They've, okay, they're, they're coming back. I'm hearing they're coming back. Very definite. They're coming back, okay? They have still held that cup of love for you. The love has never gone, I'm hearing. And again, the Ace of Cups, yeah. Oh, yes. Um, because you were the only person who's made them truly feel alive inside. You have that light in their heart, that flame in their heart. Wow, this is this is stronger than sometimes the twin flame bloody readings are on a Wednesday and a Saturday. Woo. OK, um, let's carry on with these cards a minute. No, they want me to. Where do you want me to go next? You want me to pull in some of these. Okay, let's just move these up a little bit. Um, okay, go with these, yeah. Right, um, viewer number one. Yeah, they, they know they hurt you. They know they hurt you, but it hurt them too, I'm hearing. It's like, this was you at the beginning, totally devastated. OK, but now they are like this. They have been they have not been able to pick themselves up truly and live. They have not felt alive. They have just been going through the motions in whatever situation they are in to please other people. But now they are trying to take back control of their life 
and focus on you and them is what I'm hearing. Yeah, so for those of you who felt abandoned, like this ship sailing off and you having this barrier between you, okay, the, the Eight of Wands is normally quick movement, but this is not on this card for me. This is like you feeling that you've been abandoned here and left. Um, but now I'm hearing, okay, now I'm hearing, that's how you felt. You felt disappointed. You felt abandoned and left like sort of a, a, a thief in the night, they went off sort of thing. Um, however, they haven't felt alive the whole time they've been gone. They're now focusing on you and also get ready, I'm hearing, get ready, because when they come back in, it's going to happen fast. Yeah, and you, there's going to be fast communication, okay? When they come back, contact is going to be fast between you and you're going to be happy. Beautiful. Okay, let's have a look here. Some more. So what else? Part of you who chose part number one. Yeah, you know, they've had their dark moments, their doubts and fears. You've had yours. Karmic situations keeping them sort of unable to come forward it's going to change that's going to change between now and the end of february there's going to be changes yeah so don't you have your negative nancy lurking inside you okay because things are going to change like i say you can get your own reading for peace of mind um, but the, what I'm hearing is the no more gremlins keeping you apart, if you like. So don't be negative. This is beautiful connection. Beautiful connection. Yeah, things are going to be released. Okay, you've been their beacon of hope so they can release all of their doubts, fears, karmic situations. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So let's see what the romance angels say from your person. So for the viewer who chose number one, what would their person like to say to them about their connection? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yes, definitely. And engagement, oh yes, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. When they come back, they are going to be serious, okay? This is serious now. Ten of Pentacles, true love, exactly. Okay, this is the romance of a lifetime. So let's just use these cards to see what they would say to you. You are beautiful. It's only ever been you. No one else. Exactly. What did I say earlier on? Yeah. And another. Two hearts together. I feel what you feel. Love you. It's definitely. True love. Okay. A karmic situation. I made the wrong choice. Believe me. They did. They certainly did make the wrong choice. Okay, let's see what Archangel Michael says. Archangel Michael, what message do you have for the viewer who chose pair number one, please? Honour and trust your feelings. Um, you know what your feelings are. You, if, if you didn't feel anything about this person, you wouldn't be watching videos like this. Um, you wouldn't be interested, okay, but they are also honouring and trusting their feelings now, okay, definitely. So another message for you. Waves of prosperity, yeah, new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now, meaning that, the you know, when they come back, it's going to be your treasure chest, okay, your abundance, your jackpot, your wealth. 
Okay, let's just go with one of these now. They don't want me to take no, Oh, they want me to pull one of these. What message do you have? Change. Yeah, definitely changes. Definitely changes here. And final message. Viewer who chose card number one. Yeah, again, major changes. It's just letting you know that there are going to be big changes. They're going to be revealing things to you, my lovelies. Things are going to be revealed. And again, with that moon card coming back there, even though they brought through a completely different message on that one, but things are going to be revealed. Okay, things have been going on behind the scenes that you thought it was over, that they didn't care about you. Okay, you have never gone out of their heart. You are the only thing that gives them passion in their hearts. Okay, sorry, the only person, not the only thing. Um, so, regardless of how they felt when they last saw you or whatever, you know, this is not over. They're going to come back and you are going to be the one for each other, okay? So, not much on sort of how they felt before. I think we get the gist. <laughs> okay, so um, I hope this has helped you, my lovelies. Love and light. For my lovelies who chose par number two... Let's have a look and see how your person was thinking and feeling the last time they saw you. Now, for those of you new to my channel, welcome, my lovelies. Um, I channel spirit, so there's nothing under that card. Um, and also, please check out my other pick a card playlist, twin flame playlist, get them back playlist. Other videos that I do, I do a live chat session, I do... Um, a free love reading competition on the zodiac signs video so please check out my channel my lovelies because there's more than i i do than just pick a card readings so what other message sorry so what message do you have for the viewers who chose part number two regarding the overall energies of their person the last time they saw them what was their person sort of thinking and feeling the overall energies of this person Okay, so there could have been um, some controlling sort of dominant behaviour here, but it could have been a situation that was controlling this person. So if there were karmics or families, religion, distance, okay, um, but also that your person may have, as if you've seen that they controlled the situation and some of them could have been quite aggressive or dominant when you parted, okay? Um, argumentative, I'm hearing. So let's bring in some of these for um, anything regarding how this person was thinking or feeling. It, it's like um, Spirit is saying you felt that they got the upper hand. As if they were running the show here. There was no compromise. I'll get it all out in a minute. They keep bringing through bits. Right, let's get these shuffled. The Magician. Okay, let me just put down another one a minute. And Money. Okay, so a couple of things again I'm getting through here totally not like number ones <laughs> um they at the time they felt it was the right thing to do I'm hearing because of either financial issues finances were involved somewhere or just their own security emotional security um they were some of them were a bit like a um what I want to say like a weasel okay a bit sly and underhand in how they did this that's why you feel that they had the upper hand in this that they controlled the situation because um it didn't seem fair the way it was done it seemed quite selfish i'm hearing for some of you of course you can get your own personal readings my lovely all the different readings i do are on my website that you can find in the link below in the description box so some of them being sort of a bit sneaky, a bit weaselly, a bit underhanded here as well. 
but the bond is still very much there. So although they still have feelings for you and you still have feelings for them, there were financial issues or, or obligations, commitments or situations, okay, or just their own um, security. But they think about you all the time, I'm hearing. They think about you all the time. So what other message for the viewers who chose pile number two? Yeah, waiting here. They know you've been waiting. It's like you've put your life on hold because you've still felt this connection. Um, waiting for them to come back. And they've been... Uh, some of them are admitting they've been dragging their heels, okay? They've been dragging their heels for the right situation, the right time, I'm hearing. Um, so I don't feel this is over, regardless of sort of how they felt and what was happening at the time when you last saw them. This is not over. Yeah, they are... Sorry, they walked away. Some of them, again, under not very nice circumstances. But this is a divine connection, okay? So just be patient. Your person will be back, I feel. I'll be back. Okay, so let's move into some of these then. So what other message do you have regarding how this person felt or was thinking the last time they saw the viewer? Chose point number two. The hangman again. Hangman and the hangman. Okay, so they may... Uh, okay, so you... It looks like you will get back together, but it may not be yet, Spirit is saying. That's why it's sort of in divine timing. You're going to have to wait, okay? But your person knows that your the connection is still there and that you are energetically still waiting for them. They may not know for sure, okay? But they feel or are hoping that you're waiting for them perhaps as well. Um, what else? I also got through then... Um, Spirit saying that for some of you, when you parted, you may have said, I will wait for you, no matter what, okay? Um, but yes, they are going to be turning their back on whatever situation they are in, in order to come back to you here. And come back and apologise, propose, okay, make a commitment to you. So... Again, this has gone sort of the way of number ones, not as intense as number ones, but yeah, your future is together here. Um, sort of not really covering so much their thoughts and feelings, but just that, you know what, it doesn't matter what happened because they're going to be coming back. The how, the when, the ifs, the whys, the buts, the maybes, don't worry about it, okay? Because however long it takes, this is a divine connection. I'm not feeling twin flame like I did pile one. But that doesn't mean that you're not, okay? It's just not coming through um, as strongly as that pile. But um, you have a very close connection. So a very spiritual connection as well. So I do feel that your person will be back, my lovelies. So what other message do you have? Anything else on how they felt or thought when they last saw this person? Yeah, they, they know that they were irresponsible, that they ran away, okay? And we've got that a couple of times here. But also how they are going to be leaving the situation they are in. Yeah, because Spirit's been leading you together here. Spirit's been helping them to leave the situation they are in whenever it happens, okay? Um, and you felt this connection still, so you've not been able to move your life forward, okay? So, um, 
yeah despite karmic situations or fears or doubts okay this bogeyman See what the romance angels say. So, romance angels, what message do you have from the viewers person who chose number two? What would their person like to say to them? Separation. That although you're in separation, he's still got his hand on his heart and holding your hand in the five D. Okay, this connection has not been broken even in even in separation. We may be apart, but we are together. I'm hearing. There are some healing, there's some healing of family issues to do first. Take that as it resonates, it could be a multitude of things. And it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, so. It's sort of saying it's safe for you to love this person when they come back. But that's entirely your choice. Right, let's see what they would say to you. This is no contact. Okay, no contact. What would the viewers have chose for number two person say to them? Don't judge me. I know I messed up. I've changed. And a new beginning, can we start over again? Let's try, yes, because I do feel that you will be coming back together. Okay, so Archangel Michael, what would you say about this connection, please? You and your loved ones are safe. So it's like they're saying, it's like Archangel Michael is saying that... If they have people that they've got to walk away from, their people are going to be okay. And you and you, this person are going to be okay together. Believe and trust. Okay, have faith in this. So what other message do you have for the viewer who chose part number two? Explore your options, but it's just the, the bottom bit. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. Your person knows that they need to make changes and changes again. Yeah, but like this mermaid is hanging upside down, like the hangman we've had twice. A major life change brings you great blessings. So you've been waiting for this person, perhaps not all of you, but um, you've been waiting for this. So they are coming back here um, and they've been now know that you are the person for them okay that the connection has never died so they want to try again coffin yeah the end of where they are changes coming in the end of the old beginning of the new my lovelies okay final message for you like i say you can of course get your own personal reading check out the description box below Yeah, just be strong, okay? Your person is trying to have the strength, the confidence and the courage, okay? But spirit want you to be strong as well and be confident because there is going to be communication. If you're in no communication, you are going to be happy and on the same page here of this book, my lovelies. So I will leave this with you, love and light. For my lovelies who chose pile number three, let's see how your person was thinking or feeling the last time they saw you. So for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome my lovelies. Um, I channel spirits, so there's nothing there. I do the cards as I go along as a visual for yourselves. So let's start with the sort of overall energies of your person the last time that you saw them. Okay, so for some of them, the grass seemed greener on the other side, okay? Um, by that, for those of you who don't know what I mean by that, is that they thought things were better elsewhere, um, whatever the situation, okay? Whether it was because of somebody else or job or 
distance, travel, whatever, okay. Um, and for others, they became sort of disillusioned with the relationship at the time. So they were feeling a little bit, for some, as if the rose-tinted glasses had worn off or that they were being selfish, thinking that the grass was greener on the other side, okay, that there was more to life, more fun to be had than you, okay, in a selfish way, I'm hearing, that's why I say it like that, I don't mean nasty to you, um, so let's carry on, so anything about the viewer who chose car number three, their person's thoughts and feelings the last time they saw them? Okay, yeah. It was as if it was their decision. I'm hearing, you know, I've made my mind up, that's it, okay? You just couldn't sort of talk them out of it. Whatever you were trying to say to them, sort of if you were saying, please don't go, we can work this out. It was like, no, I've made my decision, sorry. You know, my name's Boff and I'm off sort of thing. So you probably thought they were very selfish, okay? Um but it seemed to be out of your hands. It was in their control at the time. Now, of course, my lovelies, you can get your own personal reading. If you are new to my channel, then please check out the Get Them Back playlist, Twin Flame playlist, the Pick A Card playlist. Um, I do a free love reading competition on my Zodiac signs reading every month and a live chat session on a Monday. I do lots, okay, so please explore my channel, my lovelies. Okay, but now, okay, I'm getting two things. So at the time, again, you know, they went because to, for some of them to better themselves as well, I'm hearing, you know, not all of them were, the grass is greener on the other side and, you know, oh, and things aren't, you know, it's not you, it's me sort of thing. Um, but for some of them work, okay, or providing res responsibilities or work, as well I'm getting here but I feel that this person wants to come back and offer you the security okay it's like they've been um, bumped like a kick up the ass to make them realize that you're the one that they should be with so Yeah, to take the bull by the horns and to walk away from wherever they are to come back to you. But again, at the time, they did walk away from you, okay? And again, not very nice circumstances for some of you. Okay, let's go with some of these. So, what other message from you? Chose part number three. Yeah, they... Uh, a lot of them are still very passionate about you, okay, and are coming, going to be coming forward, coming back in your lives. Yeah, it's fated, okay, this is fated. A new cycle, a new chapter with the two of you now coming in. So although they went, some of them under selfish circumstances, um, they, you know, a lot of them still very, feel very passionate about you and feel it's fated and want to come back. Yeah, the past, they just, either you've got a past life connection or, you know, just from the connection you made in this lifetime. It's too strong a connection I'm getting. Um, stress, okay, I feel that on both sides I'm hearing, okay, that you've obviously been stressed, you've been anxious, you've been, you know, to hell and back, some of you, okay, but for them as well, it's affected their mental health and well-being as well, I'm hearing, okay, um, they've been just as stressed as you are or have been. Maybe not at the beginning, I'm hearing for some, but definitely now they're realising that you are the person they want to be with. Yeah, the Six of Cups again, definitely. 
definitely. There may be children involved here somewhere en route as well, whether they have children um, or you've got children together, okay? Um, but there's this strong past link here that neither of you have been able to move on from. So again, past life or just because of the connection you had in this life. Yeah, Ten of Cups. They want their happy family life with you, I'm hearing. But again, families involved, some of them may be with other situations. Yeah, coming in quickly when they do decide, okay? When they decide that they are walking away from whatever situation they are in to be back with you, it's going to be quick. Okay, it is going to be quick. So let's have a look at anything else that comes through. If you chose part number three, anything else you want to say? Yeah, this is going to grow into something much more solid, firmer root, um, stronger roots. Okay, this time, nothing is going to. Um, <laughs> it's like this sly fox hanging around in the background. They're drawing me to this as if, like, whatever karmic situation or whatever distracted them before, like the grass being on, greener on the other side. Okay, it's like they're going no. No, I'm ignoring you this time because this time I'm putting down firmer roots. Okay, this little acorn is going to grow into a mighty oak tree with big, strong roots between me and my person. So it doesn't matter what you're running around in the background saying here. Okay, trying to tempt me back or whatever. Okay, no. Yeah, they have been guided back to you by spirit and the universe to guide the two of you back together. Like I say, this is fated because of this past strong connection. And again, spirit guiding you together, look. So you may have been wishing here for the spirit to bring you and your person back together, okay? And they've heard that call and they are being guided back here. Yeah, two of cups again. It's beautiful. And look at the purple around here. It always reminds me of the crown chakra as if you've opened up your pure crown chakra to them and they felt that and they're being drawn back in sort of dipping his nose in the water to see through the veil if you like to see what you're doing here to be back with you right okay let's have a quick look at the romance angel so romance angels what message do you have for the viewer who chose part number three from their person about this connection Attraction, yeah, the attraction is very much still there. Woo. So keep an open mind because when this happens, like I say, it's going to be quick. So the how, the when, the ifs, the whys, the buts, and maybes, don't worry about it, okay? Just keep an open mind and know that your person is going to come back to you. Of course, again, you know, please get your own reading for clarification. soulmate definitely or possibly twin flame okay yes this is your soulmate okay so what would your person say to you what would they like to say um this is going to be no contact only okay you are beautiful it's only ever been you no one else and thinking of you how can i ever forget forever yours and Archangel Michael, what do you want to say to the viewer who chose part number three? The person you're asking about is trustworthy. And you're probably going, <laughs> they weren't at the fucking beginning, were they? However, they seem to be a changed person. Right, what other message do you have for the viewer who chose part number three? worthiness so know that you are good enough know that you are worthy know that you are lovable okay put yourself on the pedestal yeah set your sights higher even when they come back in okay you go back you stay on your pedestal you don't let them go back on the pedestal above you okay so know that you deserve to receive good in all ways let's go to one of these Judication. Okay, so they're saying, don't judge me. 
okay don't judge me and for you not to judge yourself don't judge yourself and like I say you are good enough you are worthy with or without them okay um but also there could be divorces or leaving situations you know like um legal matters where they have to come from okay um and I've got gift here so they're asking me to show you that in case it's relevant for anybody around your birthdays or maybe Christmas time or Thanksgiving okay so any time when you would give sort of gifts being significant birthdays Christmas whenever okay um, and one of these to end with. Final message for the viewer who chose part number three. Yeah, just know that your person, male or female, is yours.